Alright troops, it's your man Chris Scowen from Tyrell Hack with another first play video and today we're looking at Football Manager Touch 2018 on Nintendo Switch. I am very excited about this. Um, way back in kind of October, November 2016 when Nintendo first showed off the really early um, Switch trailer. Um, like before they even did the presentation thing, just the really early trailer with the woman on the uh, rooftop playing with her pals. Um, I wrote an article for Red Bull about 10 games I wanted to see on the Switch and alongside all the obvious uh, Smash Brothers, Animal Crossing etc one of them was Football Manager and here we, got, here we are now a year and a half later and it's here it just came out of nowhere no, no hype or anything it's just here it is so it's massively exciting To be honest, I, I tend to um, actively avoid Football Manager because I know what will happen if I get into it too much. Um, I've seen other people get massively addicted to it um, and I'm concerned the same will happen to me. Like that bottom left, there's your old SPFL, your Scottish football. So yeah, that's my concern is that I'll properly get into this now. Now that it's on Switch and I can play it in bed and then play it on the train and then play it on my telly. Carnage, carnage begins. Here we go. You get a wee mouse pointer for playing on your, on your TV. Obviously, since it's called Football Manager Touch, you would imagine that um, it's best suited for playing um, on the move um, using the Switch's touch screen. But uh, here we go. Pro Gamer always checks the preferences. All good, all good, all good. So let's do it, career. I mean, it kind of goes without saying it's going to be Celtic, my team of choice. Glorious. Let me look at England again there. I, I'm right in thinking that not all the badges there were real. Yeah, classic classic football game syndrome. Um, and there's Watford there, legit, obviously. Because, um, but this happens a lot with football games, and it's because, I remember hearing about it back in the day, I believe the deal with that is that because EA has the proper uh, Premier League licence, um other football games are only allowed to have a maximum of two officially licensed Premier League teams um, at any time. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is one where you've got to choose how many leagues you want active at the same time. We'll just go with Scotland for now. Because if you select more, like if you select England as well, this is down here, the game goes a bit slower. Um... It's so like if you have multiple leagues running at the same time. So I'll go for Scotland just now. Sounds good. Have I missed the bit where you put your name in? Let's crack open an iron brew while we wait. Ah, nectar of the gods. You gotta drink iron brew when you're managing a Scottish Premiership team. Boop 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 boop. Anyone who plays football manager knows that this is the, the long bit. Boop boop boop. By all accounts, um, I've never played the touch version. Um, I've seen people saying that this is actually the version a lot of people prefer now because of the the main full fat. A PC version of Football Manager is now so complicated that um, it goes down to such minutiae and detail. Oh, here we go. Uh, there is there's so much to take in, and apparently this is kind of uh, trims back some of the fat and just kind of gets to the basics. Chris last name, that's the one. So I go as fast as I can. But this is important. England indeed. Boop. 
Favourite team, Celtic. Favourite formation, the Cheeky B442. Yep. Actually, I'm partially a 4 3 3, but we'll go for 4 4 2. I'm old school in it. Don't need a password. I was never had any experience playing football. Address me as Chris Scullion. How am I looking? <laughs> I get him. Whoop. Oh, you can have a female as well. That's a nice touch. Right. Let me skip this bit. Um, because no one wants to see me going through all of this. Let me fast forward this bit so you don't have to watch all. Okay, so there he is. Your man Scullion as a football manager. Um, very classy. It's <laughs> an odd shape. And it looks quite basic, but... Um, when you'll see when the game starts, uh, from what I've seen of it, um, the in-game engine isn't meant to be FIFA or anything like that, so this is actually fairly detailed for, for what you're going to end up getting. So let's do it. Boop. Save. Scullion takes a hot seat. I am indeed delighted at the chance to be involved. There he is. As generic as it gets. Now, how do you... Football manager always has that initial period where you struggle to get used to everything. So, overview. That's the world. Oh, there we go. Oh, so minus button takes you to the home page. There we go. So, I've got a friendly versus... St. Pauli first, which is apt if... So let's get, let's get ready for that, let's continue. I'm formally welcomed by Ian Bank here, the chairman, who is actually the chairman of Celtic, that's a nice touch. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Deal until May 2018. I know it doesn't seem long because I'm recording this in April 2018, but bear in mind up here it starts in June. It starts at the start of this season, it's nearly finished. Um, and those are indeed the guys on Celtic. Cool. Club background, for those who don't know their history, look at that. Legends. Yeah, fair enough. Cool. Transfer update. That's our loan players, Patrick Roberts. And that's players we've loaned out. I don't think we'll be bringing Chief Chi back anytime soon because he's garbage. Um, and there we go, Boyat is injured, but that's fine because he's a bomb scare anyway. Uh, these are two of my best players, so that's worrying that they're kind of lacking sharpness. Right. Continue. Let's go through the calendar to see what's coming up next. Gamboa's called up. Ben Yu's been called up. And win bonuses. Uh, let's go. High. No, normal. Let's just stick with normal for now. Win bonuses. Let's go, not go crazy. Um, it's all good. Must respond, confirm. Right, let's keep going. Some stats of players out on loan. They're all doing okay. Nothing drastic to report. Lewis Morgan looks like he's got a lot of potential. Good to know. Ah, Paddy Roberts has been injured. Sore groin, story of my life. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep going. There's always this, this part during the start of Football Manager where there's a lengthy kind of period before you actually get a game going. Uh, well, I, didn't, I don't want him. Must have been started before. It's BBC call, uh, stirring up nonsense. 
transfer window started. Let's keep going. I'm not fussed about transfers just now because no one wants to watch me doing that. I can do that later. Um, let's keep going until we get this friendly in 12 days' time. It's convenient that BBC Sport and BBC Radio 5 Live are using the same in Dreamland headline for different players. Um, and there's the roundup. I'll do all that later. But for those who aren't kind of familiar with Football Manager, this should give you an example of the kind of level of detail here. Um, also, this is still just the basics, but you're getting, every time any of your players play in international football, you're getting match reports to see how well they did. Dembele did well for us playing for his country. And every time that happens, you, you, you get an international roundup if you really want to read all the match reports here. And obviously, when you're playing with a touchscreen, this will be a lot quicker. Abubi Kouassi is an excellent wee player. And that's what they're expecting from the season. They're expecting us to win the league, win the Scottish Cup, and reach the group stage of the Champions League, or sorry, European Champions Cup. Um, so that's fine. I think that's doable. That's usually Celtic's expectations. It's saving the game. It saves the game every couple of weeks by the looks of it. A couple of in-game weeks, obviously. There we go. Craig Gordon's back fit, which is good. Because um, he's vital. Paddy Roberts has got a sore groin, but he's only out for a week or so. These guys need... That's okay. I don't want to play Falkirk anyway. Here we go. Seven days until the game. PSV have made an offer for Doris de Vries. Let's see. Doris de Vries is our sub goalie, but he doesn't really get much of a game and he's 36, so. But he's worth 250,000, so they're trying to get a bargain here. Uh, which I don't approve of. Um, How do you go back? ZL goes back. Okay. Um, let me view the offer. 85,000 is he off is worth 250,000. Uh, reject it. It's not a good enough offer. Rejected. No sale. Here's the friendly coming up. Mate, your face isn't even real, so don't start moaning. Oof, interesting if it's Linfield. Uh, oh, Ayer's injured as well now. What's going on? Ross doing. Ah, he's our captain. Out for two months. Jesus. This is going to be a <laughs> ropey friendly. And yeah, here we go. Paddy Roberts has failed the fitness test. Okay, that's fine. Let's get this game under way. Here we go. Look at that. Full home kit and everything. Uh, team selection. This is a bit... Presumably it would be a lot easier on touchscreen, but here we are anyway. Right, so... Goalie has to be Craig Gordon. Fullback. Let's go for Lustig. Oh wait, that's right back. Sorry. Keen Tierney right back. Central defence of Simonovic and Lustig. Left back. Marvin Comper, but it's not great. Right mid, Forrest, because Roberts is injured. Midfield of Rogic and Armstrong. Oh, no, Rogic and Cham. 
Let's have Sinclair on the wing. And I'm playing with two up front, so I want Dembele and Griffiths up front. Like that for a team. Delicious. And then some subs. Let's put on... Well, they're all playing, so let's put on Gamboa. No. McGregor as a sub. Armstrong as a sub. This will definitely be easier on a touch screen. I think that's when we'll be playing most of most of the game on touch screen. Edward as a sub. And let's do one more and see if it forces me to pick other ones. Cheeky wee Charlie Masonda, because he's got potential. Sub. Let's do play and see if it well mentality attacking because it's just a friendly. Let's go fluid, it can go all over the place. Let's go normal pace for now. Don't time waste that much. Quite wide. Fairly wide. Normal. Close down more. Get stuck in. <laughs> um, let's do the right passing. Be more expressive. I want the ball in the box, that's how we do it. Okay. How do you do the captain? Not quite sure how you pick the captain and stuff like that. Um, that's something I'm going to have to investigate later, but we'll worry about that later. Um, that'll take too long to figure out. We'll get that later. Um, oh, actually, it'll be up here, won't it? No. Okay. I'll figure that out. That's okay. No one, no one wants to see me sit and try to figure that out. Let's go. Yep. Only need four subs. <laughs> That's how we roll. It's a friendly, but come on. Let's not mess about. Here we go. The bad day football manager just used to be dots uh, on the pitch. Uh, when you had the match engine before that, when it was championship manager, they didn't even have uh, a match engine. It was just the commentary that came up. So this is uh, more of an update. Uh, there we go. Perfect pitch. Uh, so let's kick off. There you go. You've now got a full 3D match engine. And it gives you extended highlights. You can either watch the full game if you want. Football manager style. You can watch just, I believe, just the goals or stuff. But um, I always have this key highlight. So it'll fast forward until the next big highlight. Um, and you can keep an eye on your player's condition how well they're doing, your general stats, but then when it comes to highlight like this, you'll get to see it. Yes! There's the Bulgin, Mikhail Lustig. There's a replay. That was lovely. A lovely goal. 1-0, good start. <sighs> Lovely. Here we go, dominance. It's your attacking football for you. I'm playing the Brendan Rodgers style of attacking football. Twenty minutes gone. We're looking good. Forest been booked. Lustig's tiring a wee bit more than the rest of them, so we'll see what happens there. Half time, I might tell him to cool it a bit. 
Oh, there's Big Lee. Penalty. Who's taking it? Is that Dembele? Oh, Sinclair. Yes! Here we go, listen. What a rain this is going to be. This is All the fans must be delighted. The first, first game as a manager. 3-0 after 28 minutes. Mate, this is the future of soccer. Oh, again. Oh. Saved. Roderick and Lustig both look quite tired and Forrest. They might be the ones to come off. This is going to be half time. Bang, half time. 3 0 at half time, I mean. How do you do tactics at this point? Here we go. Right, mentality. Let's just play normal. Let's not go crazy now. Go very fluid. Just have fun, guys. Oh, that's how you do the captains and everything. Team instructions. Slow down a bit. We've won it. Don't get stuck in anymore. Stay on your feet. Keep all this kind of stuff. Good. Let's do it. I think it's the Y button to make a sub. I'll start doing subs in about 60 minutes. Brendan Rogers style. Rogic's shattered. He'll be the first off, I think. Goal hero. Right. Let's make a sub here. Let's get... Armstrong on for Rogic. And let's get Edward on for Dembele. And who else looks tired? Forrest. We sawn down for Forrest. And there we go. Recipe for success. That's debatable, I would question that. Yes! And that's why Craig Gordon is a vital goalkeeper. There we go. This is clinical. This is a comprehensive victory. I'm very happy with this. this is my first game as Celtic manager. Mm -hmm. Here we go, building it from the back. This goes in, this is going to be beautiful. Oh! 
That was Masonda, the youngster. Oh, offside, it says. Raises his flag. That was cheeky. That looked like a goal to me. Cheeky, cheeky. Here we go. Closing minutes. I'm happy with that. There's Musa. Musonda. Ooh. Young Charlie Musonda. He's going to be a. He's going to be a superstar. He's quite young. Ah, oh, there we go, big jam. Right at the end, Musonda assisting it. Lovely. Well, there we go, that's going to be full time. No, right at the death. That'll be it. Blow the whistle, ref. Come on then. That's it. That's all she wrote. Four nil. Thanks, Yari. It's nice of you to say. Leave the match. And there we go. That's Football Manager Touch um, 2018 on the Nintendo Switch. I'm very happy with this. Uh, this is going to control my life. Um, which isn't ideal with the baby on the way. But hey, there you go. There we go. Google up for Celtic and friendly demolition. Delighted. Fans will be delighted with that. Blue Stig Man of the Match. Excellent. So there we go. I'm going to keep playing this um, and have a review next week at some point. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. I know I appreciate it's slightly different to the sort of stuff I usually do and uh, football management um, is, a very, is a slightly niche type thing. But um, yeah, I like it. I'm into this. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Please do like and subscribe on YouTube um, if you want more. They won't all be football management videos, I promise. I've got loads of Switch stuff um, and Xbox stuff and even PlayStation stuff as well. Even some PC stuff uh, coming in the shape of first play videos. There's a lot more to come. Uh, so please do subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of them um, because they won't all be appearing on the website. Speaking of which, please do follow TyrollHack.com. Visit the website for more gaming goodness. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you on the flip-flop with more videos very soon. Cheers, bye-bye.